PC Perspective's coverage of the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show is brought to you by AMD and the second generation A-Series APUs. Hey everybody, Ryan here again at the ASUS Suite. We're talking with Nick. We're going to go over a couple of interesting displays uh, that they're showing for the first time at CES. So what is this one here that we're looking at that's uh, in kind of a two-way graphics configuration? Yep, so here we're showing our VG248 QE. This is the world's first uh, 144 hertz, one millisecond response time monitor. Uh, it's a 24-inch LED backlit monitor, um, 1920 by 1080, and it supports the NVIDIA 3D Vision 2 and the uh, light boost um, features display link, uh, dual, DVI, dual, uh, dual link DVI, and HDMI uh, connectors. And one of the kind of unique uh, features that this is also going to bring, in addition to being the world's first 144 hertz, one millisecond response time, is going to be it's going to it's going to include what we call uh, Game Plus. And these are going to be some overlay features, um, some like the 3D um, complaints or kind of uh, problems that people have are the crosshairs. Right. So this yeah. monitor is going to uh, include four different preset crosshairs that you're going to be able to overlay yourself um, using and that's hardware on the display? Yes. Okay, interesting. Um, and as well as some timer functions as well. Okay. Now, do these have integrated 3D vision controllers and that stuff in it? I don't see, like, uh, an adapter. Do they have any of that? No. No? Okay, so you still need, the, like, the external adapter for that, but, okay. will be able to go out and buy the kit separately. Okay. So this is... And they'll, f and, and they'll also, yeah, can, you can kind of see how they're on the stands. They're, they're pretty high up... Uh, yeah. Pretty high up, they, f they feature the four different um, height, swivel, tilt, um, pivot. So you'll be able to move them in any direction and any angle that you want as well. Very cool. Do you have pricing, availability, anything like that on, on these displays? I know a lot of our readers would be interested in 144 hertz panels. We do not have that yet. Okay. Soon? Yes. This year? Yes. This quarter? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Maybe not? Maybe All right. Yes. Uh, okay, and we have an, uh, another display you wanted to show us as well yes. on this side. So let's walk over here. Sixty by 1080 resolution. Um, so this is part of our MX series. Uh, we also have an MX 279, which is a 27 inch at 1920 by 1080. This is our 299. So if you look closely up at the edges, you'll see that there is no frame on it. The panel goes all the way to the edges. Hmm. Um, so this is kind of a, a good, beautiful, nice monitor to look at. Um, whether you're doing, you kind of see we have it split up here since you have the 2560 resolution. Um, you can have a good look at a nice res video along with pictures or multitask. Wait, so what do you think the target audience of a display like this is? Can, we do, can you do gaming on this? Uh, you can do gaming. You can do gaming. You can do um, work, uh, workspace. I think maybe traders. Um, anyone who's looking for, for extra space, um, this is going to be a good option, I think. All right, now same questions. Pricing, availability, any of that kind of stuff? Um, pricing on this one is going to be at five ninety nine, And uh, availability, I believe, should be uh, end of March. Or, end of February or, or mid-March. All right, very cool. Thanks.